legislation. You were involved in 2013 in, in, in the, the Reli Religious Freedom uh, Reformation Act, and, and you were not all Democrats signed on to that. Some did. But progressives were very upset with you and, and others. Let me show you what the Nevada Progressive blog wrote about that legislation, which came back, as you know, in 2015. That's the real aim of SB 192 here in Nevada. If passed, it would provide license to apartment owners who refuse to rent to gay tenants, pharmacists who refuse to provide contraception to women in need of it, bus drivers who refuse to take Muslim passengers to the local mosque and more. It would open the door to a wide variety of civil rights abuses and it would unleash a flood of litigation into courtrooms throughout Nevada. So much for limited government conservatives whining about frivolous lawsuits. This was not just conservatives though. Mark Hutchison, who's now the lieutenant governor, was the sponsor of that. But you signed on to it. A lot of progressives, you're, you're bragging about your progressive record tonight. That was not a progressive bill, was it? John, I was proud to have voted against that bill in the 2015 legislative session. Uh, you sponsored you know, it in 2013. But, but you were a co-sponsor. And, and, and let me be clear about the bill from 2015 and 2013. They were not the same bill. Uh, you know, the language, same principle, the, the discriminatory language was a lot different in the 2013 legislative uh, uh, bill. Uh, number two, we try to include language there to protect the civil rights of women uh, and gay couples. Uh, and and uh, the Republicans defeated it. But if you want to talk about discrimination, let's talk about Crescent Hardy's no, bill. No, I don't want to talk about let's Crescent Hardy. Let's talk about uh, John because it's worth it. No, no, no because Cres I, Crescent we're Hardy. About your record he, now. He co-sponsored a bill that will make it easier for employers to fire you pregnant said that. women. You, you already said that. That is our not, congressman. When you, when you and I are ha when you and I are here with Crescent Hardy having a debate after you're the nominee, <laughs> we can talk about. That. I look forward to. But, it. but but why did you sign on to the 2013 bill? What what was your reason? Did you think that there was a problem with religious freedom here in the state? that you needed to sign on to the bill. John, again, uh, in the 2015 legislative session when this bill that was similar to Arizona's and Indiana's that was discriminatory. But why not, did you not, sign on not, in not only I know you voted against it. Did I vote against it? I spoke out against I it. I know you did, but why did you sign on to the one in 2013? Look, John, uh, th there's many issues in this campaign and, and... You don't want to talk about this one. No, but I mean, look, if you want to talk about progressive record, I would be more than happy to but sit down... you don't down want to tell me why you signed on to the 2013 bill in the first place? Look, John, we signed on to many, many bills when we're in Carson City, uh, you know, and just because you sign on to a bill doesn't mean that you support it.